What else we gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building coming to you with a live video. This is a Q&A and it's also to test out my live before I do another live video. So this will let me know if we good to go or if we still having some technical difficulties in our area. So let's see. Just waiting on your questions. Hey y'all. You know your questions will pop up over here. Hey. There we go. Hey. Is it blurry? Are we okay? Are we alright? Are we okay? Hey y'all. Uh... Okay, we clear. Well, it's your girl Ro live with a Q&A. And this is much needed because a lot of people, hey, from Jamaica, don't get their questions asked, asked, I mean, or answered. So this is the time that you can ask whatever you would like to ask pertaining to the sweet gang thank you thank you thank you thank you if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on for the show and if you enjoy this channel please leave a comment in the comment section below and any ideas that you would like for me to see you know your girl is super busy but here you go. You got the flow. I tried to do the denim um, cake sickle yesterday. I mean, was it yesterday? Or a day for yesterday, whichever one. I'm still going to do it because a few people asked me to go live one more time. And I said I was going to do that. I don't like doing it because sometimes the service is not too hot. Okay. Okay. So this is your chance to ask me what you want. I do have a Q&A like when I first started off doing YouTube. So, um, yeah, let's get some sweet knowledge. Are you ready? Let's get it. Let's go. Sandra asks, why are my candy apples sticky? It can be various things it can be various things it can be the humidity in your house it can be um how you cl the cleaning process um after you dip them are they in you know sitting around in a humid um area but when you dip your apples the cleaning process you must have a good cleaning process technique um and i use the boiling method so if you doing the um, six to ten seconds boiling method make sure after that you let your apples sit for 48 hours two days it's okay if they sit for three days but long as you dip them after the process before you dip them make sure you dry them you dry them completely okay check out my video my updated cleaning technique is there but if they become sticky, that's because it's humid in your house. It's some it's humid in your house. In a hot climate area, candy apples do not last long. Okay? I hope that answered your questions. If I don't get to your question, just react it and I'll follow up um, with your question. Uh, Victoria asks, do I normally use large apples or small apples? I use both. I use both. I don't like using the very, the real small apples, um, but they have to at least be minimum, a medium size or a larger size to please the client and the customer. So I'm very versatile. I use both. Sandra said, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Candace. 
How did you start your sweet business? The question that everybody's been in my inbox about. How did I start my sweet business? Unfortunately, this started um, real talk. Okay, keeping it real, keeping it 100 with y'all. Um, it started off with um, cooking and baking for my family. And it started off with depression. Like real talk, depression. I was in a point in my life where I was already baking and making small treats, um, but it wasn't to the extent where my craft or the creativity stepped in. When I started, do, I, it started with strawberries, not even apples. I was baking cakes for, for my church, for my family, pound cakes and all that. It didn't start out for a business for me until I started getting a lot of orders and getting a lot of orders dealing with a lot of people and just the consumers. I had to make sure being that I already had a business, um, having a group home business, I knew I had to set things in line and that was to get my paperwork in order. So it started off with strawberries. After that, um, I became served safe. When I went to get served safe, then I became um, a home-based baker and then starting to put everything in line and in order and then start to perfect my craft. So that's how I got started. So I put my mind into doing other things than to, you know, steering them into negative things. So my mind was focused on creating something that was passionate to me. And obviously that was, you know, cooking, always in the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. Latasha asks, how do you determine the price? Ooh. A question that everybody asks me on YouTube, and is, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm just not gonna answer that question on YouTube, especially if it's a, in a comment, um, because I do have a class for that. Now, since I'm live, and you ask the question, how do you determine the price? There's various ways that you can de determine your price. Um, it's a lot to go into determining your price, but what I can give you, uh, uh, as in uh, overall answer is to uh include the items and the supplies that you are using for that particular product if it's strawberries and you got to think of what are you doing especially for the valentine season if it's strawberries you got to think about what you're using the supplies the chocolate um, the coloring, the flavor, the boxing, the wrapping, um, and then you got to reproduce, keep, you know, adding more to, to get your sales. And it all, you know, it, it varies on how much you're selling, um, how much you trying to receive in profit. So, um, including the supplies, your time, your lights, your gas, all that is determined into your pricing when um, uh, pricing your product. And you also have to you keep in mind what the, what the market is calling. So if the market is calling, like if your, your competition, like down the road, if they selling them for a dozen, but don't cut short yourself because it goes along with your work. Okay, I can't put a price on your work. It goes with what you're, what you're, what you're doing, but you don't want to... Um, shortchange yourself so you got to keep in mind like you want to stay with the market but if you you bad and you talented and you and you know you know you want to keep you keep yourself up there and keep in mind the supplies your time your gas water lights your utensils you're using you know you may have to buy another bowl for your chocolate all that plays a part in your pricing
Um, that's a great question, Sandra. She said, I am a, a MPA and have a nine to five. I guess my question to you would be, what was the determining factor that made you transition and pursue your passion? That's a great question. I am a nurse. Um, I'm still a nurse. I keep my license current. Um, I stepped out on faith. Um, years ago, I started a group home business in 2010. Um, at that time, I was still baking and doing my thing. But I didn't make it a passion until um, I start getting revenue to, to the fact that the revenue was coming in and it was coming more so of my time. But I stepped out on faith to, to help people. Um, and when I, my determining factor was to make it a business was recently, like in 2014. Uh, well, I guess that wouldn't be recently, but it's recently to me <laughs> to make it a business in 2014 because of the high demand. Um, and I just continue to just, you know, put put my I, first of all, I had to put a plan together. If I was going to do this, I had to really sit down and put a plan together and see if this was going to be profitable for me. And determining that I said strawberries wasn't going to do it. I had to do something different with my cake. So determining what you can do, because you have to put a plan in place, put it together and see what is going to be profitable before you just break away from your main job. You know what I'm saying? It has to make sense. If it don't make dollars and it don't make sense, it has to make sense. Other than that, this just be something on the side. Actually, I owned eight group homes and then I, you know, broke down to having five and those five recently are gone. I am doing this full time and that's, you know, stepping out on face. I'm doing this full time. And yes, I took a pay cut, <laughs> you know, I took a whole pay cut, but let me tell you, um, I had made sense about it and I looked at, you know, I'm not making as much as I was, but I knew where it can take me and what I'm doing, I'm, I will get there. I will get back to, like, I'm at a comfort zone, but um, it's like, I want to get back to making what I was making as having group homes, but I'm okay because I know God got me. So what I'm doing is um, really helping others build a, uh, their business or their platform because I'm already in business. I know how I go. I looked at the numbers before I decided to say, okay, but a lot of it took up my time and group having group home business take up your time. So you have to think about this. You just can't quit your job and say, oh, well, I'm going to do this full time. You got to have something to fall back on and have something like, okay, you have to have something stacked, set away, and, uh, you know, something coming in. You got to have revenue coming in. You know, if you had a size store, you know, I started with a baking group first and doing all of this stuff for free inside the baking group. And then I said, okay, that year I spent two years and I said, okay, now it's time to go to the next level. Lord, I ask that you move me. Whatever crooked path that's not, not, not straight, make it straight so that I will be able to go down this road um, respectfully, knowledgeably to understand what, what I need to do to continue to make it a profit for me and my family. Because right now, everything I just let go to follow my dream. So before you follow your dream, it has to make sense, okay? It has to make sense. If the number's not looking right, uh, if the um, if it's not making sense, I'm telling y'all, if it's not making sense, don't do it. You have to work up to it. So I worked up to this. I worked up to this to where I was at a comfortable place, place and said, okay, 
you know, because God do things that you cannot imagine to do. He prepares you. You just have to be ready. So he's preparing for my next, what I was already doing, but still he provides for me. Then he's preparing me for my next. So I have to continue to keep the faith. So you got to keep the faith. If this is something you, you, you want to do, um, you have to look at what it is that is going to make it profitable for you. And see, with me, I'm opening up a supply shop. That's my ultimate goal. So I see, you know, I didn't analyze and did everything. So that's, that's, that was my determining factor. Hey, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that answered your question and gave you some insight on, on that. You know, basically you just have to have to see if it's profitable and if you can make it profit. And, and really, Hey, somebody say, Hey auntie. And really you have to make it profitable. The market because you see so many people in this in this market doesn't mean you cannot do it. It's how you do it and when you do it. It's so many unicorns this, there's so many themes of this. It's how you do it. Everybody have their own um creativity. No, because couldn't nobody see. It was blurry. I went live, so I don't want a bad video up like that, you know. I'm trying to take it to the next level. So, it's coming. It's coming. Um... Actually, I'm doing a sweet knowledge tour um, this year. So I got the states. Um, I'm just waiting on my graphic designer to do my flyer and get it out there. But I am doing a sweet knowledge tour, giving y'all what y'all need to know. It's a lot of people that ask me, how, did you, how do you get started? How do you make it profitable? Well, trust me, if anybody can tell you, I can tell you. I done been to where a lot of people said no to me. A lot of people wouldn't give me answers. A lot of people shut me out on trying to help me with certain things. And after that, after all them doors closed for me, I just went on and just did it myself and perfect things myself. I'm a visual learner. I looked at a lot of different things, was inspired by a lot of different people. That is in the sweet community. And I just learned off of just the visual so and i perfect it from there so i perfect and perfect and to today i constantly continue to perfect and i i bring more into what i'm doing so it, it it's 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 something sorry it's it's some things that you, you just can't be stuck on one thing find your niche and you and you stick with it perfect it and add to it like McDonald's and Burger King do, they adding something new all the time to stay in the market. Because if you ain't adding flavor to what you're doing, that flavor will diminish and go away. It ain't going to taste too good. So it may look good, but it ain't tasting good. So y'all got to remember. Oh, my God, I am coming to Richmond, Virginia. No, actually, yeah, I am coming to Richmond, Virginia. Yes, I am coming to Richmond, Virginia. How do you choose without spending more than you're earning? That's a good question, and I teach that. I teach that to the basics, baby. How do you spend what, how do you spend, wait a minute, what'd she say? Hey, hey, diva, divine baby products. How do you choose without spending more than you're earning? You have to start off with a budget 
And I'm going to talk about this all in my sweet knowledge tour. There's one thing you got to do. You got to stay within your budget. You have to make a budget. Stay within the budget. We have a problem spending more than what we should. We see, we buy with our eyes all the time. We buy with these and forget about the bills that we have. If you're spending your rent money and you know you need to keep a place over your head trying to start something. Some people, it work for, it don't work for everybody. Okay? Trust me, if you're spending that, you better know that you got something coming back 10 times more than what you spent. So keep that in mind. You have to go within a budget and build off the budget. Thank you, Wendy. So you have to keep that in mind. It, listen, if you are serious about doing this, you'll work hard at doing it. Um, I'm coming to Baltimore, Maryland. I'm not doing New York. I was going to do New York, but I haven't got a confirmation. But I'll be in Baltimore. Be more in the house. Greetings, Miss Rowe. I am a new to your channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One to know when you are coming back to Memphis for a class or I will come to you. I will be back in Memphis in December. I think December 14th um, for the Sweet Knowledge Tour. The Sweet Knowledge um, Tour is very, is, let me tell you, is very important. If you want to knowledge, let me tell you, I didn't help so many people make thousands and thousands of dollars. And the system that I put in place. When I think about these things, I have to write them down, put them together and and see if they if they're going to work for me, I know they're going to work for you. You just have to apply yourself. It just don't it just ain't going to work by me telling you and you listening like, "Oh, I heard her." You have to apply yourself for real. It ain't going to work. Yep, I'll be in Atlanta. Um so you have to apply yourself. So this Sweet Knowledge Tour is based on how to build your business, how to market, how to brand, how to get started, how to form an LLC without paying somebody to pay, do an LLC. You can do it yourself. Um, um, uh, vendors. Yes, I'm coming to Dallas. I'm coming to Dallas and Houston. Yep. Um, um, how, to get, how to get started. How to... Um, do your contracts, how to do your disclaimers. A lot of people don't do this. Everybody just do and rely on PayPal, Cash App, but you have to have some type of rule and disclaimer and contract for your customers. That's, a, that's important, okay? They have to agree to something so that if for any reason, for any reason, some, something was to happen, you have everything in line to protect you okay so all of this i will be teaching at the uh sweet knowledge tour and da -da 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 -da, everybody was like what is it gonna cost 55 dollars 55 dollars get your seat it's limited seating 55 dollars for the sweet knowledge tour i will also yep i'll be coming to miami florida and orlando florida um, so you will have packets on what we're talking about. You're going to have paperwork to what it looks like, what you should be looking for. And, uh, you're going to have a list of vendors who to contact to get started. Um, and that's what it is. Some of the people that is in my workshops online, they already know the Valentine workshop. They see how it went. And they have enjoyed it, and there's people making money right now. So, um, I don't know about Rochester. Yes, it is. Cassie says she can't stop making popcorn. That's it. Some people take that and make a whole storefront out of that. So, 
I always tell people to read, research, and review. How can you join any of my classes online? Just go to my Facebook page right now until my website is updated. Um, and just go to Your Sweet Connection on Facebook and message. And my assistant, Nadine, will help you out. She'll get you registered. There are people registering every day. You'll get it right. Just follow the steps. If you in my class or haven't, take my popcorn class. It's more, it's explained more in detail and you'll learn different type of ones. Are you coming near Chicago? Yes. I think I'm coming to Chicago. I got to look at my list because I think I took that off. Y'all got to understand if I don't have the people that will come out in these states, I only chose certain states that I know, um, People that I get, you know, a higher response to, um, and I will come out. Asking a question, being overlooked a few times as you look over. Um, what is she asking? Arrow. There is a young lady named. KH asking a question is being overlooked a few times as you look over. Okay, KH, ask your question again so it can come up. I post the dates on my business plan. Thank you, Nita. KH asks a question of help about candy thickening right off the stove and hardening at the end. That's, I think, what you're doing is you might be adding too much color. You might be adding too much color. If it's... Okay, here we go. Can you tell me how to keep my candy from thickening so fast after removing from the stove and being so hard in the end? I turned the candy off at 300 degrees, but my candy apples are harder than I like them to be. Okay. So there everybody know, candy apples. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Candy apples are meant to be hard. There is a hard rock stage, and that's what we cook to the 300 degrees. You can either take them off at 280, and or you can take them off at 300 degrees, but that's a hard rock stage for candy apples. If your candy mixture thickens before you can even dip, you may be adding too much coloring, food coloring, to your candy mixture. Okay, and if you take it off, oh, you welcome, Cage. So, you welcome. So, okay, try not to add too much coloring to your candy mixture. It don't worry. You add a few some drops, it's going to color, but you have to add white. And you have to add the color. Add the color or add white or add your color at the end. There's so many ways you can add your color in. I'm known for adding at the end. Okay? So that's probably why it's thickening. Okay? So try that. Somebody asks, my popcorn still be sticky after the oven? It depends on your oven when you do your popcorn. So do your popcorn in 15-minute intervals. So it only takes 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, but breaking it up every 15 minutes. So depending on your oven, if it have to go in for another 15 minutes, but when you take it out, you have to... Turn your popcorn over and it should be fine. 
What's a good thermometer to buy? The one I use have had to buy one every time I make candy mix. You're going to be buying a candy thermometer as long as you making candy apples. I do it all the time. I don't do the digital. You can do the digital, um, but I buy the regular candy thermometer that you can get from the grocery store or you can order it offline. I get like three or four of them all, every time. Every time. Is the Valentine's Day class one video or a series of different videos? Um, are you in the class, Sybil? Um, because I'm done doing any video session. So if you go in the announcement section of the group's page, all the videos is in that section. Okay. All the videos is in that section. You just got to go down and they're listed. They're, they're, I got them title okay it's 30 minutes my valentine workshop class is uh 25 dollars there was a sale there's not a sale anymore but the class is 25 dollars there's several videos in there how do you sign up? Go over to my Facebook page and go to Your Sweet Connection. Send a message. Let my assistant know, Miss Nadine, that you're interested in signing up for the Valentine Workshop. It's a workshop just basically to help you get started. And um, I talk about pricing. I talk about packaging. I talk about how to um, do your sales, how to set up your your um pricing so it's very 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 informative and um you can get it you can get it get it get it, get it. all right let's see a few more questions clarify needed for what to use for dipping strawberries chocolate or candy melts for cake pops what is a good product miss p it really doesn't matter it's your choice, your preference, or your customer's preference. Um, you can use chocolate, and you can use. I'm actually getting ready to do a class, chocolate and caramel, online class. There's a difference between chocolate and candy melts, candy wafers. One is pure chocolate, and the other one is a candy melt that is already tempered. Real pure chocolate, real chocolate has to be tempered. If you try to dip in real chocolate, it's not going to set if it's not tempered. And you can, I didn't mention that in some of my videos. Um, not coming to Philadelphia, um, but I'll be in Baltimore, Maryland. Steve can be blessed today. I'm worried about Steve. Wherever Steve is, Steve can be blessed because he can get it too. Okay. Thank y'all for watching out for Steve. Yep. Georgia, I'll be in Georgia. The dates will be posted on, I will post it on YouTube and have YouTube uploaded. And, um, cause yeah, you gotta stay focused, y'all. You gotta stay focused. Anytime somebody knock you off, cause the devil try to come in to infiltrate and, and knock you off your square, you gotta stay focused. And, um, Steve can get it. Steve on time out. Yeah. Steve got, he got it. <laughs> Gotta stay focused. Trolls, just what they are, trolls. Can I ship? Mm-hmm. 
right where he or she need to be, whichever one, you know, you know how that go. They come in hiding behind. Be real with yourself. Can I purchase your treats from Florida? Yes, you sure can. I only ship certain things. I don't ship candy apples. And depending on the season, the strawberries. Chef Masters, Latasha. I, 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 my preference is Chef Masters. I never did that before, but I guess I will. All right, y'all. Give me a minute here. Have some folks help with these trolls. He got the hands set on Yes. Yes, yes, God. Yes, God. Can you ship candy apples? I don't prefer that you ship candy apples. Some people do. Some people don't have a problem with them. But every time I did, they broke down. I did all I could to save them next day. Even next day. Next day is expensive. But it just don't make sense. Next day, they still broke down. And I had to have, find somebody in that area to do apples for that person. So, yeah. Dealing with fondant can, I use baking soda to harden it. I never tried using baking soda to harden it, but you can use uh, Tylose powder. Chocolate apples. Tylose powder will stiffen it. Even some powdered sugar will stiff, you know, stiffen it a little bit. Uh, divinity. Uh oh. How do I prevent my candy apples from bubbling? Um, it depends on what you're doing. First of all, you have to have a good cleaning technique. I got a few videos on here dealing with um, dealing with uh, the technique of cleaning. You follow that. Check out that video. I'll walk you straight through it. But you, you have to have a good cleaning process and make sure that your your apples are clean and that they sit for 48 hours. How do you make chocolate apples? Check out my class in a few. Chocolate apples. I got videos on here for chocolate apples. What do you use to color your chocolate when wanting to change the color? I use Arison Artisan Accent Chocolate Food Coloring. Works good. Uh, will there be an Easter workshop? No. If you are in the Valentine workshop, I think that you can implement that into your Easter stuff. Make them taste good. Question, do all pink and purple coloring taste like medicine? Um, that's a good question. I don't know because I always flavor my chocolate. Tell them, Dominique, elephant skin comes from overheating. It comes from overheating, not letting your chocolate sit. And you. this is what everybody's problem is. When you dip chocolate, you dip right away as soon as it comes out the microwave. But it's also something that people need to pay attention to is what your settings is on 
your microwave. Apple coloring it can be chocolate or candy apple. Which one are you talking about? Mm. How early can you make apples for an event? You can make apple depend um, depend on the, the if the event. Say for instance, if the event was today today is friday you can make your apples clean them on monday and you can dip them on wednesday or you can dip them on thursday whichever one you want to do dip them on wednesday or thursday have them ready to go out on friday with your candy apples Keep them stored in a cool area. Is the Valentine Workshop online now? Yes, it's available, always available. Patricia asks, Candy Melts make my apples look rough. What can I do to improve the process? There's a few things you can do. You can buy a better brand of candy melts <laughs> depends on what brand of candy melts you're using um but you have to know the process of different dipping chocolate dipping chocolate uh candy melts um because i use candy melts all the time and mine's be fine that's what i use candy melts is how you melt your chocolate and let it be smooth it's a process so i'm gonna take a few more questions i'm gonna sign out Please, if you if you are interested in any of my classes online, just go to my business page on Facebook, Your Sweet Connection. Check it out. Inbox. Send a message letting us know that you're interested. And um, sorry, if you're interested, just send us a message. And my assistant, Miss Nadine. We'll get you registered. Um, you asked, could you double dip them to last longer? I don't know if they'll last longer because candy apples going to break down regardless. So um, if you double dip them, that's fine. But I wouldn't double dip them to have them last for like a week or so. I mean, candy apples last for a long time. It depends on... Yours should, should last longer than one day. That means either it, it's humid in your house, it's something, it's, it's something that you're not doing um, to make them last. Because they last, they, they can last longer. As long as they're properly stored. I don't like using Wilton's brand of candy melts. It can still be done. Um, but I don't like using a brand. My preference is Merkins or Guitar. All right. So that is my time. It's time for me to sign out here. At a cool, cool temperature. You can put them in the refrigerator. After you dip them, let them sit out for about 15 minutes. Yeah, they last they last for months. Long as that's why I say as long as they're properly stored. But in different climate areas, they just don't last. If it's you welcome. Um if there's in if it's in a hot climate area and it's just not cool, it has to be cool in your house. You welcome, Danny. Thank you. Oh, that's a little ranch. That's what the ranches look like. Girl, shut the noise. Why when I put candy apples in the fridge, they get sticky like they sweat? They do. They actually do. But when you bring them out, you got to remember, you got to keep them. When you bring them out, you can't bring them out in a hot area. You welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I still clean. Uh, for chocolate, no. I can do both. 
I'm sorry, I didn't finish seeing that question. I didn't do both. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed this Q&A and you want more of these Q&As, um, leave a comment in the comment section below. I really was testing out as well to see if we're good to go because I am going to do the cake sickle video um, for y'all. Um, so, I love y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I appreciate y'all love and support and everything. And um, show your love by coming out to this Sweet Knowledge Tour. It's going down. Don't forget, I am doing a small demonstration on how to set up your treat tables and um, um, some backdropping. Um, just some um, treat tables. Is I'm doing a demo on how to stage for your treat tables. Okay small demo okay so just keep in mind look out for them dates go to my page it will be posted on my instagram my sweet connect my my facebook is your sweet connection your sweet connection don't forget give this video some thumbs up y'all for the sweet knowledge from your girl ro I'll be putting it in for y'all first show, okay? And also, I'm excited about this tour because I always love to see people grow. Um, that's my passion on what I do, how I do. So, you know, stay tuned for those dates. They will be posted. We just finalizing everything. I'm going through it. Me and my assistant with a fine tooth comb to make sure that these are the states that I that I'm going to get feedback from for me to fly out, for me to get lodging, come support. Also, I will be in St. Louis doing. Uh, I will be teaching two classes at Show Me Sweets. If y'all ain't never been to a convention, a sweet convention, this is what you need to come. All right. Show me sweets in St. Louis. I'll be teaching strawberries and um, a class on strawberries and a class on apples. And mainly this particular class is, is keen around the glitter and all of that. And, and it's all 100% edible. I know y'all like the bling and all that stuff where your girl Ro is going to be teaching in St. Louis and showing you some techniques that you ain't seen on YouTube or in my classes yet that y'all don't know about. So y'all need to get on over to St. Lulu. Get on, go on to St. Lulu. Y'all go to showmesweets.com or show me sweets on Facebook. Get registered because it's only limited seating. Limited seating. Limited, 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 limited seating. Show me sweets. Show me sweets. All right. do what with strawberries the bling that's what's going down mm. um camera over here thank you show me sweets.com show me sweets.com or show me sweets on facebook check it out go you'll see your girl roll on there what do I use for bling? I use edible, edible glitter. Show me sweet. Uh, my Instagram is your sweet connect. I said my sweet connect. Your sweet connect, connect, not connection on Instagram, IG, your sweet connect. IG, go follow me. On Facebook, Your Sweet Connection. Your Sweet Connection. Got it. You sure? Is that the same? It depends on what it is. Check out my video. We got that edible glitter. Show me sweets. 
Go to Never Forgotten Designs. You don't know. You don't know. Don't get it. I don't know. I, I can't say because they do and then they don't. So it depends on what area you go to. I might as well find, finish out this time for this hour. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm trying to go. Who is simply who is simply Bruno? Who is who is that? Shout out the uh yes I did. With the pineapples and all that stuff, yes. Do you have a full list of supplies you use and where you get them from? I sure do. I share that with all the videos that I do and I share them with my classes. Right, I can't leave. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. Yes, I have a Facebook. Your Sweet Connection on Facebook, IG, Your Sweet Connect. Love you too, two five five loving me. Vanessa Coke, will you come to Canada? No, not Canada. You never know. I, I you never know. It's not on the on the schedule though. <laughs> when is the next live? As soon as I I get done for it, we're here. Eight more minutes. I'm giving y'all eight more minutes. Will there be Sweet Gang merch at the event? Yes, honey, it will be Sweet Gang merch. <laughs> it's Sweet Gang merch online now. But no, it will be Sweet Gang merch. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it. I be so busy. You know, I appreciate y'all. Yes, come through, Ro. Come through. What was the website again for the edible glitters? Uh, NeverForgottenDesigns.com Edible glitter NeverForgottenDesigns.com When the Orlando event again. I'm going to post the dates on under this video thank you dominique and um so y'all can register once y'all see the dates the people that's been in this video once y'all see the dates you can get registered um you can re get your ticket because normally a lot of my my workshops do sell out but this will be the first Sweet Knowledge Tour. Do you use store-bought raw icing? Um, if you're talking about CK products, yes. I use, I'm very versatile. I make my own raw icing. I, I, uh, um, I use the CK already packaged. Uh, Oh, that's what was going on. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to see what was going on here. All right.
Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, a bit much. Okay. See how quick you can get distracted? No. Ain't gonna happen. All right. Yeah, block game strong. That's all it takes. Keep it moving. K-I-M. Roll with Kim. All right, y'all got four minutes left. We almost done. We done made it for an hour. <laughs> we almost done. So that lets me know we good, we clear. I can go in and do this live for y'all with these cake sickles on how to make the blue jean denim cake sickle. Y'all ready for that? What causes sticky apples sticking to the bag? That means um, the humidity has hit. So if you're taking it out the refrigerator, then it becomes sticky to the bag. It's because of the humidity. The humidity that is in the room, the area, or the house. Yes. How do you learn this stuff yourself, honey? Research. Read, research, and review. I read a lot. I educate myself. That's why I tell people, y'all y'all get out here and everybody ain't going to give it to you. You have to re-research and review some things for yourself. You have to make it work for you. If it ain't working for you, then it ain't it ain't for you. But you know, I always believe in don't follow the Joneses. The them Johnson Johnsons, them Jones and Joneses ain't always the ones you want to roll with. You got to find the stuff out for yourself. Trial and error. You know, you know, I had a friend called trial and error It's still my best friend trial and error. So she teaches me a whole lot of things, you know, and then when trial and error get on my nerves, I, I go to read research and review and and she keeps me in line. So when I do the read research and review, then I go with my home girl um, knowledge, wisdom, knowledge and wisdom. Every time, it's best to keep your knowledge and wisdom on point, okay? So, you know, and if my, if my knowledge and wisdom ain't there, you know, if, I, if my knowledge and wisdom ain't there, I go back to, to um, the R&R, R&R, &R, you know, read, research, and review. She, you know what I'm saying? And when I got that, I roll with Kim. I roll with Kim. I K I M. I keep it moving for real. <laughs> it may sound corny, but that's what I do. I I I'm a visual learner, and everybody is not a visual learner. Some people need to do hand. You know, it's better doing hands on, and that's cool. But when you find a method and technique, you roll with it. And yes, you have to keep. I believe in encouraging y'all so much because I know what I went through as a, a baker, a treat maker. You know what I'm saying? Um, but a lot of this stuff, you can't just learn it in one day and think it's going to apply and be like, bam, I dream a genie. I got it. I took a class. Boom. I should have it. Cause I did it with Roe. I did it with Roe. I did whoever you done took whoever class. Just because just because you done took their class don't mean you done became a master treat maker, sugar artist, baker, master chef. You know, that does not mean you done mastered the, the skill just like that by taking that class for that one day. It happens over time. Some people are just talented. That's a gift from God. I always say I can't teach talent. But I can teach technique and method. Talent, if you talented, some people that still talented still take courses and stuff like that. But it's one thing that you need to know. It it takes 
time to perfect. It's 60 minutes, and that's my time, y'all. It takes time. I'm going to leave with this. It takes time to perfect your skill. Over the period of time, it gets better. So when you take people classes, any, and not just mine, anybody else's, remember, after you learn something and you get that knowledge, you get knowledge and wisdom, you take that, apply it to your life, roll with Kim, okay, and follow R, R, and R. Continue to read, research, and review some things, okay? I told y'all to Google me, Google me. I don't have a shop. I'm working on that. God's grace, his willingness, but I'm telling you, and I'm going to leave with that. I don't have no more questions. <laughs> but follow, for, in order to follow your dreams, you have to be woke. You got to wake up from the dream, and then you have to apply your dream to your life. Because if you don't apply your dream to your reality, it's just a dream. God 